All right, guys, on this camping trip, I'm going to be testing this Altad air mattress. And you can see this is how you will receive it. It comes in this stuff sack. Uh, you can see that it's way too large and heavy for backpacking. Uh, by comparison, this is my Thermarest air mattress that I use for backpacking. And, of course, I don't have it fully compressed. It actually shrinks down a little bit smaller than this. But here you can see, just for comparison, the size difference between the two pads. But I just wanted to show you uh, how it looks in the stuff sack. Pretty neat that inside the stuff sack, it did come with a couple of plastic vinyl patches for repairs, should the need arise. And this is what it looks like right out of the stuff sack. Here's what it looks like fully inflated. It has sort of this integrated pillow on one end. And you can see it's pretty, pretty thick. And of course there's a valve for the main part of the pad and there's a separate valve for the pillow section so you can kind of customize how much air you need in it. So I'll be sleeping on this pad tonight and we'll report back in the morning. slept on the Altad air mattress last night and it was actually a quite comfortable pad. The integrated pillow was very nice but I did have one major issue with it that um, it, you know I see it as a design flaw. I really don't know what they were thinking. The pad is too short. I didn't really notice it when I was setting it up but as soon as I climbed in the tent to go to sleep last night I realized that um, my feet were hanging off the end and I'm not especially tall I'm just average height and if anything I'm on the shorter side of average height and my feet were dangling off the end of the pad so it was kind of a major detraction from sleeping although otherwise the pad was comfortable I think we will continue testing it and maybe on the next father-son camp out I will let my son use the pad uh, for him, the length will not be an issue, but in my case, I just have a hard time recommending this product because of the short length of this pad, and that is something that you would have to take into consider before purchasing. Another issue that I had with the pad is with the stuff sack, not so much the pad itself. I did deflate all of the air out of the pad. I mean, I really worked all the air out. But as I was stuffing it back in the included stuff sack, this seam just ripped right here. And if you look, it really is not the best stitching. And it's also a very tight fit. If you have any air at all in the pad, it will not go back in the stuff sack. So perhaps they should have allowed just a little extra room on the stuff sack because as anybody knows, uh, these things come perfect from the factory and then once you use it one time It's nearly impossible to get it back in the stuff sack exactly right and With this poor stitching and, and very close tolerance on the fit uh, We have what we have here nothing, <laughs> nothing that a little duct tape can't fix but uh, certainly a poor quality stuff sack you can see even on this end also, uh, I, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but some of these seams are trying to separate as well. I don't know if you can see that there. So, you know, stuff that can do its job, but it's, it's not the best. That was my quick take on the Altad uh, inflatable air mattress. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate all your views and support, and I'll see you on the trail.